Minneapolis. Recording in progress. All right. Yeah. How's everybody doing today? Good. Okay. You like Good. my haircut? We, uh, uh, what, Tony, you like my haircut? Yeah, it's nice, man. Look, will you like my haircut? Who Love cut it. it? Who cut it? The, the Cal Gilmore did. No, that's nice hair, John. You went to the barbers? No, it did at the house. Hell. Oh, okay. He cut it. That's good. Good job. Well, I turn, I look like you. <laughs> uh oh. Not quite. No, you, again. you still have hair on top. Where are tunnel? And you don't have as many, you don't have as many gray as I have. I had some vacation when we went. Vacation? No, you don't think you went, we don't think you go what we are? Conference. I went to What's that? The conference. I, that's where you hit last time. You went far away. Yeah, I was in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas? Yeah. Doing yeah. what? Huh? Doing what? Going to a conference, a leadership conference. Like, yeah. Yeah, they had Pass. sessions all day. It was it was no vacation, I'm here to tell you. We had tomorrow, tomorrow, it's a new, May 1st, new month. Yeah, May 1st. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, all right. Uh, good to see everybody. How you doing, Faith? I see you. We're trying to pay going. for a new, new playing, pay for down. Who? The new, the thing, of the wall, right. new, the new twang. Oh, okay. Uh, George, how you doing? Good. Tanaya? Huh? How you doing? Doing good. I, I can't tell that. I can't tell. I passed out last Thursday when Turner. Oh, yeah, I heard. Yeah. You doing Wait, better today? Yeah, I went to the hospital Thursday night. Oh, boy. Sorry. Yeah. You feeling better today? Yeah. Good. I'm better. Will you still pray for me? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We, that, we are, that's why you're not there for us. That's why you're not there. That's why. Mm -hmm. Why we are? Yeah, that's why. why. Why we are? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, all right. We're going we're gonna to open up with scripture and prayer. So who's going to do what? I've got scripture. Who's going to open us in prayer? Nobody? Me. Okay. All right. Well, let's do this. Okay. I will be reading Psalm 106, verses 1 through 5. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Who can proclaim the mighty acts of the Lord or fully declare his praise? Blessed are they who maintain justice, who constantly do what is right. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Come to my aid when you save them, that I may enjoy the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may share in the joy of your nation and join your inheritance in giving praise. Blessing be to the hearing and reading of Psalm 106, verses 1 through 5. Hey, go ahead and pray now, uh, Tanaya. Thank you, God. Make it feel better. Amen. 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 Well, all right. Uh, let me see. Let me share my screen here. Share screen. Bada pow, bada ping. That good? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we are. Will we on? Are we we on? Will we on? Number two. Number two. Oh, number two. Oh. Where it says read Acts eight five through five was a twelve. What else? The story? Uh the the Philip Bob going going to Samaria. Maria. 
What? what with what, uh, what's the gospel? Oh, well, that is the gospel. Yeah, but, yeah, gospel. I was going to ask what the good news yes, is. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, good news. Good news is gospel. Yeah. All right. So let's look at Acts chapter um, 8. Verses 5. What's 5 and 12? 12. It's not chapter 8. Verses 5 through 12? Yeah, right here. Okay. You want to read it? Yeah. You want, you want me to start at verse 5? Yeah, start at verse 5. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tanaya. And at then Philip went down to the city of Samaria. Yeah. And preached Christ to them. Keep going. To verse 12. Okay. And the multiple, I don't know what that word is. No, it says, and the people. Huh? People. And the people. Verse 6. Okay. And the multitude with one according, according. Okay, are you in chapter 5? I mean, excuse me, chapter 8, verse 6? Yes. What does it say? And the multitude with with was according the the things are spoken by Philip here hearing and seeing the miracles which he did for on Jesus Christ with a loud voice they were Possessed and many who were paralyzed and lame. And there was a great joy in that city. Keep going. But there was a certain man called Simon. Right. Who previously practiced show. Uh, I don't know what that word. Sorcery? Sorcery in the city and astonished. The people of Samaria were claiming that he was someone great who, who to will they all gave heed heed from the last To the greatest thing, this is the man, is the great power of God. And then they hated him how because he had astonished them with his sorcery and for a long time. But when they have believed Philip as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. Both men and women were baptized. 
All right. Thanks. Uh, yeah, great job. And then, then so uh, A says what? Look at verse 12. Look at verse 12. So if you look at verse 12, it asks a question. What conclusion do you draw? In other words, how did this thing finish out? Verse 12. Mm. It says, here's what verse 12 says. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. So yeah. how did this thing end up? <laughs> they became believers and were baptized. Oh, yeah. Baptized. Men and women. Oh. Who were baptized? Men and women. Men and women. Okay. And what did they have to do? Believe. What did they do before they were baptized? Believe. Believe. Believe, Believe. what? The Jesus Christ. There Believe. you go. The gospel. Gospel, the good the, news, the good news. Yeah, that's what you was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. The story of Philip going to Samaria with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. That's what the gospel is. And so the conclusion was that when they believed, um, they were they were baptized, both men and women right right yes you guys agree with that yeah yeah all right now that's what the scripture says right right there in front uh -huh. of you these are not trick questions right in the bible all right <laughs> well let's look at another story Um, um, let's see. Number three. Um, somebody want to read that one? Faith, you want to try it? Consider. Consider. Consider the story of Philip. See, Philip. Philip and the Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Eunuch. Eunuch. What's that word? Church. Good church. Um, and Acts eight verse twenty six through thirty eight. All right. So we look at Acts chapter 8, verse 26 through 38. Good job, Faith. Go ahead. Um, you want to read that, Sister Maria? Sure. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, 
go south to the road, the desert road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out and on his way, he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in charge of all the treasury of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and on his way home was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirit told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. You understand what you are reading, Philip asked. How can I, he said, unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. The eunuch was reading this passage of scripture. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter and as a lamb before the shearer is silent. So he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants, for his life was taken from the earth? The eunuch asked Philip, tell me please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, here is water. Why shouldn't I be baptized? and he gave orders to stop the yeah. chariot. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and Philip baptized him. Uh, 38? Was that? That, oh, was, that, that was the 38? 38, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I see, hold on, 30. Yeah, and then the next one says, look carefully at verses 35 through 39, so. Right, 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 but. Yeah, I don't know uh, if that was a typo or. Well, what is your 30, let's see, they went their way. What does your 37 say? My 37, oh my gosh, mine goes from 36 to 38. Yeah. Oh. 38. There is no 37 on mine. That is so weird. Man. I thought I didn't hear it. I'm like, what happened to 37? I did, I have no idea that it was a misprint in the Bible. All right. So my 39, which should really be 38, says, when they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away, and the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Okay. So 37 says... And Philip said, if thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That's a very important passage of scripture. You want to hear something weird? There's a little B next to the end of 37. And when you go down... It says, 36, some late manuscripts baptized. 37, Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. The eunuch answered, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. But it's down at the bottom is like a... Um... Right. So they purposely left it out. Well, some he was saying that some of the manuscripts of the Bible leave that piece out. Right. But I think I think that's a very important piece. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we got that straightened I out. That. I did not notice that until you said it. I'm like, that was 38. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that's what I was saying. Yeah, is there something else? I mean, okay. So, um, so let let's see. What did we get out of that story? What did you get out of that story? Um, uh, the story, and now here is the same guy, Philip, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Remember, we were talking about Philip before. Is that right? To Samaria. Hello? Yes. Uh, <sighs> When we talked about verses chapter eight verses five to twelve, mm -hmm. was that about Philip? Yes. 
Now, what happened to Philip in that? Remember what we talked about? What happened? In five through eight, uh, five through twelve, what happened? Mm -hmm. You remember, uh, John? John, you muted. You don't uh -oh, watch John. The game. You remember what happened? Uh, what happened with Philip in 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 in, in verses five through twelve? Remember yeah. what happened? He got baptized. He baptized who? What? Jesus? No. Oh no, that's oh no. Philip. Baptized Philip. Yeah. He baptized both what? We just talked about it. He baptized both men and women. Right? In Samaria. Remember that? They heard the gospel. He baptized both men and women. I do. Yeah. Okay. So he was in Samaria when he did that. Now, when we go to this one, it started in 26 of the same chapter. We're still talking about Philip. And look at what it says. And an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south. In other words, he had he was he was doing a huge revival. He was baptizing people, yeah. men and women, in the name of Jesus. Boom, he was baptizing them. The angel of the Lord said, Leave that. And go talk to this one person from Ethiopia. Yeah. And so what happened to this guy from Ethiopia? Was he, uh, did he refuse to be baptized? No, he asked, why shouldn't he be? No. Hmm. Matter of fact, when Philip found him, what did he find him doing? Reading the scripture of Isaiah. Yeah, he was reading his Bible. His Bible. Mm -hmm. And what did, uh, what did Philip ask him? He asked him, do you understand what you're reading? Yeah. And he said, how can I? I got nobody to explain it to me. And so Philip explained it to him. Um, uh, he, he, he preached unto him Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so he told him about Jesus and that, that scripture re referred to Jesus. All the way back in the book of Isaiah, he said this scripture refers to Jesus. Now, when they came up on some water, what did the Ethiopian, they call him eunuch, uh, Ethiopian eunuch, but we'll just call him the Ethiopian man. What did he say? What did he want to do? <sighs> you guys don't have your thinking cap on today, too. Huh? I'm asking you. Yes. I'm asking you to think. I need you to think, and I need you to answer some questions. Because okay. if you don't know what the scripture says, then what are we doing? You know. I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So. The, the 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 Ethiopian guy asked Philip to do what when they passed water. What did he say? Baptize. There you go. He said some water right there, man. Let's just do this right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my version. Yeah. Let's do this right here. Yeah. 
Let's do this. Okay. So then Philip asked him a question. Um, Philip uh, asked him, mm -hmm. he said, you can be baptized if what? If you, there's something has to happen first before you're baptized. What do you think be, that is? Uh, be saved? There, there you go. You have to be saved. Amen. Yeah. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, and, and that's the way it happens when you talk about physically being baptized in the water or being baptized into the body of Christ. Right? So, yeah. Um, he said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So, then he stopped the chariot. And what did they do when he stopped the chariot? After he said, I believe, when they stopped the chariot, what did they do? What happened to him? <sighs> he got saved. Okay. He was saved. He was that baptized. He was saved already. And baptized. Yeah. Baptized. We talking about baptism, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, and so he got baptized. Yeah. Now, verse thirty nine, which uh, Maria, Sister Maria, read. Who I will have her read it again. So we can say how this thing ended. Okay. Okay. So 39 is probably my 40. Or no? No, it's your 39. Is it? Okay. It, you have a number missing, don't you? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So 39 says, when they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away. And the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Okay, two things happened there that are amazing. The first thing that happened would have just threw me off. Oh, man. What was the first thing that happened? When he came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord did what? Took Philip away. It was as if Philip, it was as if Philip disappeared. Yeah. Ew. Whoa. Like Elijah. Yeah. Okay, he just, he's gone. Where'd he go? <laughs> mm. And what, what did the eunuch do after that? Ran. Huh? Hmm. Say so he ran. <laughs> yeah, he ran. <laughs> no, he didn't run. He went on rejoicing. He was rejoicing and praising God. Yeah, praising God. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. Um, these are here because it's showing the importance of being baptized. Now, before you can get, before you're baptized, what should happen? You should be what? Saved. Saved. Right. And then you baptize. There you go. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. All right. So, and that's kind of what it's showing. They heard the gospel message. They heard the good news of Jesus Christ. They believed in their heart that, that, that Jesus was the son of God, God. which got them saved. And then they were baptized. Yeah, baptized. Now, what happens if you're not saved and you get baptized? What do you think? You just get wet. Faith, what do you think? Hmm. What do you think? 
if you're not saved and 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 get and want to get baptized, what do you think? What happens? What? You what now? What? Wet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all you do is get wet. It has no meaning. You might as well just go and swim it. Ooh, swim it. Yeah. It'll be hot enough to go swimming in a little while. But that doesn't mean you're baptized just because you're swimming. But when you believe in Christ and you get baptized, it's very symbolic. Right? Yeah. So, um, question. Uh, Tanaya? Oh, what? Question. Yeah. Which comes first, salvation or baptism? Uh, back, I mean, salvation comes first. Okay. Uh, John, what do you think? Oh, no. Yeah, you do. Salvation? Faith? What do you think? Hmm. Which comes first, salvation or baptism? Salvation. George? Baptism. Baptism? Yeah. Sister Maria? Salvation. <laughs> It's salvation. Yeah, you got to be yeah. saved. All right. Well, you guys did uh, very good today. You got your thinking caps on. I hope you at least got, you have to be saved and then get baptized out of this particular. And, and salvation comes by um, hearing the gospel message. Somebody got to tell somebody about Jesus. Because Jesus saved. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, any other comments before we go? Any thoughts? No. No. Yes, I am. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who's going to close us out in prayer? Is that Me. you, John? Me. All right. Let's go. Pray for our eternal, where we as family, where our public friends pass away for. You pray me for the problem, we for healing, pray for power, and very to the police on Sunday. Amen. <laughs> hey. All right, you guys did a wonderful job. Prayer tonight, prayer, prayer. Pray, praying tonight. All right. Prayer, okay, prayer, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, Shira. There we go. Okay. All prayer. right. Prayer, prayer. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a good day. Okay. See you at five on prayer. Bye-bye. See you at five o'clock. All right.